welcome back to our update for the karmic third party. Yes, we do cover the twin flame path here at Yildiz Readings, the masculine, feminine and karmic third party weekly, and then the joint connection every Friday live with education content this year. So have a happy new year, and I, I hope everything is very well and safe with you. A lot of throat chakra coming through for the karmic today. We also do have these videos out in Yildiz Readings 5G membership. Thank you to the members for your support during Christmas and New Year's into 2023. Also, if you do want to come and join us, we do have Discord and we have the support group in there for the Twin Flames. Live every Friday, as mentioned. Now, let's get into this very juicy read. I'm telling you, as I mentioned, a lot of throat chakra. Now, let's just quickly take a close-up. And I've decapitated half of the head, which I think is quite funny. Okay, we do have the snake, okay? And this is to do with... This is to do with the circumstance, okay? Something hasn't transformed. It is in reverse. Um, your intuition and healing powers will guide you to a better path, but be careful. I think they've really gone on the angel's bed to tread. And I do say through heart, this is to do with the relationship. Be it it is a family-related dynamic, it could be something to do with heart chakra. It could be to do with the breaking up of a relationship. And I do feel for some there is a breakup here. If it hasn't happened, it's set to happen. It's very close indeed. Um, this, this person maybe was not putting a lot of effort in or knew they were going. However, that applies. Something hasn't changed and it does feel that maybe due diligence wasn't taken and it's kind of got messy here in the mix. This person is, is very adamant to keep things the way they are and it really has been to the detriment of them. And I'm noticing in the past position, this entrapment has actually gone to the past. I think sometimes we need to be careful what we wish for. I think this turned out a lot different to what they thought it was going to. And for some, it may be. Um, this could be to do with family with the moon. This especially because we are going to be having a new moon in Cancer this month. Um, I, I do particularly feel there's something relating to family and home. This could be the physical residence that this person is living at. Some of them may lose a home. Some of them may lose a relative. It just feels there's something in the mix here in the heart that is quite heartbreaking. Oh, they're not they're not happy about this at all. I'm seeing them manage to be uh, manage to be grateful, and it was maybe maybe they had wanted to tap out of a point, but now they're kind of you know they're looking at it, going, okay, I'm quite stripped bare here. I'm trying to restore what I had before, but I don't think I can quite go back into the way it was before. There is this um, concern over finances for some of them. For some of them, it can be the physical body, the vulnerability of the body. And, and they're looking back to their youth. They're looking back to when things were simpler. If this is a given romantic scenario shit, which is a very strong message that's coming through this week, there is the undertone of family, but very separately, there's a romantic um, connection here in the mix for some. This, this situation, the karmic directly feels, you know, they're, they're wishing that they had their body back. They're wishing that they had that lustrous, vivaciousness, um, where potentially it could lure anybody in, and now they're, they're feeling that that's not so. There could be a lack of confidence here in the mix where it does come to romantic partnerships. I'm getting the term criticism, and I don't know why. Um, there, there particularly might have been an argument or a statement made within this connection, and this person has taken quite, quite a, they're quite offended by it. So it's really kicked their confidence. It might have been because in the old days, they were able to use their body, their vessel to manipulate a circumstance. And here this individual is saying that maybe that is, maybe now that they're evolved, they're realising they want something at a more traditional level, but it's not quite fitting the bill. Some of them could be um, procrastinating over emotions and feelings. This can be to do with endings, new beginnings, death and rebirth. They don't know what to do in the mix, but I do feel even if they're delaying, even if they feel um, they need to delay, some of them have, oh God, this term, I heard it um, 
back in December, it was, oh, God, it's a song. It's dirty deeds done dirt shape. It's like there's a procrastination here. They're a bit concerned that maybe some dirty secret is going to come out. That could be because Mars is retrograde in Gemini and Mercury is retrograde. So some of this can actually be coming to light um, with their actions. And I'm noticing the cat behind their head. It's like nine lives. But we're at the eight. So one of them has ended. Yeah, I feel it's gossip through the grapevine with a bunch of friends. Um, a bit of fun going a little bit too far. This also could be with money. This also could be with the way they handle their, um, their communication style. So they don't quite know what to do now because they do feel the circumstance can't be undone. They're not happy about it at all. Um, there could be an argument between three friends. This could be three friends, three family members. This also could be conflict within partnerships, especially for those that are married, but definitely a big amount of space caused between these two. This is a breakdown of it. This can be concerns that if this gets out, it's going to get messy. <clears throat> as far as they're concerned, like, you know, this is what's funny. They literally felt as though attention wasn't there. So they, whatever they've done, they were within their right. But they do feel that they weren't quite noticing that they personalised something. I feel this is an altercation. I, I feel it's maybe saying some hard truths, saying some horrible things to one another. And it's really, um, uh, they picked the wrong time. And this is, because it has been a culmination of things, I feel this is happening quite quickly. And this, uh, maybe it was taken or, or stated in a very insensitive way, but this person really reached their threshold within the karmic relationship. And I feel this person's really pulled the pen away from the individual. They've gone a little bit too far. Um, <clears throat> hmm. Uh, I, I do feel they knew that if they kept going, this was going to end it. I'm noticing this card at the bottom row here. We've got the card of Pluto um, as a clarifier. We have how teachable are you? And it's in reverse. At a foundation level, they are very firm with their beliefs. It, this has caused the undoing here. This has caused an issue. There could be an argument over finances. There could be an argument over um, belief systems value systems there's no communication here at the moment they're waiting on it they could be really pushing the point but this person is kind of going to the past and i feel whoever was in this karmic relationship i feel they're, they're moving away from this they're also bringing up more the 3d nature of things okay let's talk about the analytics where would you be where would i be but this does feel like this person Feels they can get this back on the same page, but this other individual who is directly dealing with them knows it's over and the commitment is not there anymore. I also feel that they're trying to use that temptation energy. Um, and that's not working either. Yeah. <clears throat> they could be getting very angry. This could cause a person to walk out. There's a squabble over assets. There's a squabble over home and where that location is going to be. Some are staying at hotels, so I don't want to speak to you anymore. Um, they could be getting family members involved. As far as the person who was involved with this individual, they, they feel it's over. They are not talking. And no matter what they're doing, they're really, really, really pushing the point. Some of these individuals could be in the physical house, but they're, they're in separate rooms. They are not talking to each other at this point. They don't even look at each other as friends. At a point in time, yes. Ooh. Okay, they're making reference to an awareness of the twin flame path. Don't even be surprised if the karmic turns up at your house, whether you're masculine or feminine. This individual is aware of the commitment and the connection. They may even be coming to you for advice, some of them. Believe me, do not listen to advice during the next three weeks. It may not be fully correct. If you do want a private booking, you can go to the link directly below. 
Otherwise, protect yourself this week, especially with these cards. I do think this person is a little bit volatile. We do have these out a week ahead of the crowd. Come and join our YouTube membership. It's a beautiful crowd. Otherwise, we'll see you for the lives, not this Friday. It's premiere this Friday, but next, I will be back on board to see all of you. Take care, beautifuls. Happy New Year.